Meow. So I love these little curled up kitties. And we just start with a big round circle and then we'll modify the shape a little. And I've got it on double speed again, just so we can get twice as much learning in the same amount of time. And I'm feeling out for where that hip goes. Just get these main shapes in. There's the tail. And just that arm too. I just kind of really decide which places I want to start with. And we'll get that head in there. Snout. And get that ear there. So we got our main shapes now. So now's when I start refining a little. And again, I'm just working in a kid's school pencil crayon. They're great for sketching because you don't have to use up your good artist pencils. And I like them better for pencil than I like them better than pencil, especially for my tutorials because they show up better. By pencil, I mean graphite pencil. Don't forget to join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you there if you truly are interested in drawing cats. And you'll find the link in the description below. Really thinking carefully there where because I want the, the hair of the tail to sort of cover the nose a bit so it looks like the nose is snugged up into the into the tail. I got a line going on there showing me where the eye goes. Just a suggestion of an eye, a closed eye. A suggestion of hair there. And I like to fill in that spot with some dark because it kind of helps the face stand out a little bit. Refine, refine, refine. Always correcting as I go. Little smirk. Just a suggestion of hair inside the ear there too. So now I'm really strengthening up the lines that I like, the lines that make sense. some tabby stripes. The tabby stripes really help shape the face and really add a lot of character too. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, help build the community. So hit subscribe, hit the little bell, get notified when the next video is up. Those tail stripes will help the face stand out a little. Not that we really need the face to stand out because, you know, when cats are sleeping like this, they really kind of blur into a big ball of fur. We just want a suggestion of that it's a cat there. I want those lines around the edge to be strong. And I wanted the tail to continue past the ear there.
Yeah, no, I sped it up even more here. Now it's four times the speed as I fill in the last little bits for you. I want to thank you so much for watching today. Got lots more videos in the plans. So join our Facebook group, subscribe to the channel, hit notify so you won't miss a video. You'll find some handy links, cat drawing resources in the description of this video below. And let me know what you want to learn about cat drawing in the comments. Meow for now.